Hey guys, from your Gamer, and I am back with another Orin Cast video, and today we're going to be talking about a brand new update that's coming soon. Uh, Game Off today just released a couple notes previewing the update, so let's go ahead and get right into it. Um, before we get into it, <laughs> uh, the background here, uh, the gameplay I got today where I was playing PvP, and I'm terrible at this game, I'm very bad at this game, but I somehow killed, like, the entire team, uh, this is the, this is a 2v2 by the way, I killed the entire team like I think three or four times and then my teammate who I have no idea who he was, he was a random guy <laughs> and he actually got the two last game. So all, we, all I got was wins today so that kind of made me, uh, you know, kind of raise my self esteem. But uh, okay, let's look into the major change log. So uh, there's going to be a brand new dungeon which is going to close the Rising Flare trilogy. Um, there's going to be three new bosses. There's going to be a couple events. It's going to be Chinese New Year, the Sekera, and the Easter. There's going to be some new mounts and pets. Most are tied to the events above, but unfortunately, I don't think there are trappable mounts. Tier is just, just, it's going down my face, man. I want trappable mounts, but it's not in this update, sadly. Um, <laughs> there is a brand new Talon tree, sort of, for Ranger class. They changed the Archer to uh, Marksman. You actually see it. Uh, later in the video, I'll show you guys um, the entire tree. Um, there's also a revamped lottery system. So lottery is a little different this time around, and uh, we'll go through it. So as usual with these notes, there are a couple questions. I'm not going to go over all of them, but I am going to go over some that I think you know are pretty cool or just pretty sweet. So uh, let's see. What is new for the Easter festival? So there, there is a golden rabbit mount and a pet available there. So probably it's going to be some Easter festival, maybe currency you'll use doing quests or dailies or whatever to get those, uh, to get that currency. And then with that, you can probably get the mount. I might go for that. Golden rabbit sounds pretty cool. <laughs> what is the reward of the quest the weapon whisperer used for? So after learning the handbook, you can make materials, which is used to craft T4 weapons. So that is a pretty big thing for those guys who are looking to get that stuff. As for me, I'm very slow with that stuff. Like, just T4 gear, everything, just... I usually get it much, much later. Um, just, I'm just, I'm just out of it. I'm, I'm completely out of it. Um, but uh, about the lottery system, here we go. So, what is new in the lottery? Uh, there is a new Wheel of Fortune with more prizes to offer. Um, there are changes in the lottery, so... They improved the lottery where... Three, the, the chest now, the um, the free one, the one rune lottery, and the 30 rune now all have a free chance. Um, and the rune prices have been decreased too, so I'm not just sure how that's going to go. Um, and then as usual, users who have not yet reached level 70 will see different chests. Okay, so each will get a different chest. And now what's with the Wheel of Fortune's reward pool, um, which... <laughs> Which is pretty sweet. Every person kind of gets their own award pool and they kind of go at it and see what they can get. There are some rare mounts, pets, and lots of vanity gears for those who love those kind of things. Um, do you plan on increasing the loot rate in old dungeons? This is a big, big thing. So they've increased the drop rate of epic gear by almost 300%. 300. That is just an immense number. That is a crazy number. So. I'm probably gonna get into this game again. I know I haven't really been uploading videos just because I'm sort of out of it this game. Nothing really kind of inspires me to go on right now. Um, I mean, I do go on every now and then check up with my friends and Mount Hunt and all that, but um, I am going to, I guess I'll do some dungeons. I'll have some dungeon videos I have. Um, I've gotten some suggestions from people about it. So uh, I could do some dungeon then upload it and uh, you guys hopefully will enjoy it. So that's about it, guys. If you guys would like to learn more about um, all these questions and all that, I'll leave the um, I'll leave the link down in the description if you guys want to check that out. Um, but before we head off, uh, I'm going to show you guys here on screen, which is the new talent tree for uh, Rangers, which is pretty sweet because it's affecting me. I'm an archer, and now it is not it's not even called an archer anymore. It's called marksman. So I looked over some differences. There are some little differences. Not um, I didn't see as being like major differences. Um, but there are notable differences that you will see and I'm not too sure it's gonna be played out It is said in the questions here that it will take some getting used to and it's a bit challenging So um, it should be interesting me getting uh, to use that and uh, probably when the update comes out I'll show you guys, you know exactly how I'm gonna put my talent tree for the marksman and uh, see how I get used to and all that So uh, yeah, I got a lot of series it is for this game just a lot just I have two series that I, I Or not a series one of them is a series, but I wanted to do them 
so badly, but I'm just held up with all the other games that I play. Like, I play a lot. I play, like, Call of Duty. I play Modern Combat. I play Battlefield. I just, it's just a lot of games, man. It's it's tough to, to go through all of them. Um, but, yeah, I'm, I'm going to kind of make time, and I'll get it back into this game. And, uh, yeah, so uh, thank you guys for watching, and uh, I will see you guys in the next one.